Hello everyone, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. This is the second and last part of the Cardiotocography series video. In this video, we will look into application of Cardiotocography machine. Let's begin with TOCO transducer in CTG machine. A TOCO dynamometer, or TOCO for short, is a transducer pressure sensing device that can detect the changes in your abdomen as the uterus tightens during a contraction. It marks how often contractions occur and the length of each, producing a graph that looks like a series of hills rolling across the bottom of the printout. The external contraction monitor can't tell how strong a contraction is, since the size of the hill is affected by the tightness of the belt and if you're thin or heavy. If a precise measurement of the strength of the contraction is needed, an internal pressure monitor can be placed inside the uterus. The second type of transducer used in measuring intrauterine pressure is IUP transducer. An intrauterine pressure catheter, IUPC, is a device placed into the amniotic space during labor in order to measure the strength of uterine contractions. External tocodynometers are used to measure tension across the abdominal wall and detect only contraction frequency and duration. The appearance of contractions by external monitoring may be affected not only by contraction strength, but also by maternal habitus, position, gestational age, and monitor location on the abdomen. Let's look into ultrasound transducers in CTG machines. Cardiotocography uses ultrasound to detect the baby's heart rate. Ultrasound travels freely through fluid and soft tissues. However, ultrasound is reflected back. It bounces back as echoes when it hits a more solid, dense surface. For example, the ultrasound will travel freely through the blood in a heart chamber, but when it hits a solid valve, a lot of the ultrasound echoes back. Another example is that when ultrasound travels through bile in the gallbladder, it will echo back strongly if it hits a solid gallstone. So an ultrasound hits different structures in the body of different densities. It sends back echoes of varying strength. In CTG monitoring, a special type of ultrasound called Doppler is used. This type of ultrasound is used to measure structures that are moving, making it useful for monitoring heart rates. The other plate on the CTG measures how tense the mother's abdomen is. This measurement is used to show when the uterus is contracting. The next transducer is spiral electrode, also known as fetal scalp electrode. Internal cardiotocography uses an electronic transducer connected directly to the fetal scalp. A wire electrode is attached to the fetal scalp through the cervical opening and is connected to the monitor. This type of electrode is sometimes called a spiral or scalp electrode. Internal monitoring provides a more accurate and consistent transmission of the fetal heart rate than external monitoring because factors such as movement do not affect it. Internal monitoring may be used when external monitoring of the fetal heart rate is adequate or closer surveillance is needed. Let's know how to read CTG graphs. When performing CTG interpretation, you first need to determine if the pregnancy is high or low risk. This is important as it gives more context to the CTG reading e.g. if the pregnancy categorized as high risk, the threshold for intervention may be lower. Some reasons a pregnancy may be considered high risk. Next, you need to record the number of contractions present in a 10-minute period. Each big square on the example CTG chart below is equal to one minute, so look at how many contractions occurred within 10 big squares. Individual contractions are seen as peaks on the part of the CTG monitoring uterine activity. Assess contractions for the following. Duration. 
How long do the contractions last? Intensity. How strong are the contractions? Let's know about acceleration in graph. Accelerations are an abrupt increase in the baseline fetal heart rate of greater than 15 BPM for greater than 15 seconds. The presence of accelerations is reassuring. Accelerations occurring alongside uterine contractions is a sign of a healthy fetus. The absence of accelerations with an otherwise normal CTG is of uncertain significance. Let's know about decelerations in graph. Decelerations are an abrupt decrease in the baseline fetal heart rate of greater than 15 BPM for greater than 15 seconds. The fetal heart rate is controlled by the autonomic and somatic nervous system. In response to hypoxic stress, the fetus reduces its heart rate to preserve myocardial oxygenation and perfusion. Unlike an adult, a fetus cannot increase its respiration depth and rate. This reduction in heart rate to reduce myocardial demand is referred to as deceleration. There are a number of different types of deceleration, each with varying significance. We hope you understood the application of the CTG machine. We tried to keep it as simple as we could. If you like this information on CTG machines, hit that like button and subscribe to Biomedical Engineers TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.